is it a wig is it not you know i don't need i don't need people assuming and i don't need people questioning anything okay this is my hair <laughs> crystal here welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button so you do not miss any videos that i put out also if you haven't already followed me on instagram make sure you do so at killer chris today i'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about a few different things self-care self-love um indulging in things that you love to do um setting time aside for yourself manifesting the things that you want in your life the importance of aligning your, your mind, body, and spirit. Also, this video is sponsored by I Like Hair Comp. They are a hair brand that specializes in this eye part wig that I'm going to be showing you guys how to install in this video. So if you are interested, make sure you stick around and I'll see you guys right over there. Okay, you guys, so before we get into this video, I just want to talk a little bit about this hair. So this is the eye part wig from I Like Hair Comp. You can check them out at ilikehair.com and use my promo code if you're interested at chris25. Um, this hair is amazing, you guys. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this hair in this video, but I just wanted to shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. And without any further ado, we're going to get right into the topics, okay? Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Zoe is walking in the door as we speak because she hears me in front of the camera and she loves the camera. She acts like she doesn't every time I get in front of it. She wants to take the shine. You want to come say hi? Come here. Come. You want to come say hi? Say hi. Say hi, Momo. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the sweetest. Alright, I hope my lighting is not too bright. I know that um, it's very bright in here and the sun is beaming through my windows literally as we speak. And and I know that doesn't really help. I hope it's not too, too, too bright. Anyways, let me put my phone on Do Not Disturb. We gotta get to talking about these topics because these topics are very important. Throughout this makeup process, I wanna talk to you guys about a few things. The first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I'm gonna get my foundation together because I know that um, if I don't, <laughs> we gonna be here all day. Let me just go ahead and prime my skin, prep my skin, and then we can start. My fan is like, it's just so clutch. Okay, so the first thing I actually want to do is breathe. This is something that I, I try to make sure that I'm very conscious of doing whenever I just feel the need to. Like, breathing is so important. I think a lot of people overlook it because it's something that we naturally do when we get up and we breathe. But there is a really huge difference between you breathing and you actually like breathing in and filling your lungs up and breathing out all of the things that you don't want inside of you. There like your body is so full of energy you are an energetic being you have the power to be able to breathe in what you want and breathe out what you don't okay and don't let nobody ever ever tell you otherwise because whatever they got to say is bullshit, okay so let me go ahead and i'm gonna put my foundation on and then we can get to talking so i just want to start off with the fact that i have been doing really good in terms of like my mental my physical my spiritual and emotional self i do have my off days but for the most part i'm really just being intentional in terms of what it is that i'm consuming what it is that i'm releasing working out eating right and all these things right so i just kind of want to put that out there because that is pretty much what this video is going to be based around let me go ahead and add foundation that i've been using to color correct around this area i've been using it to color correct around this area because i don't know about you guys but i get so dark around here and everywhere else is fine but around my mouth what is that about giving me very much inconvenient i have been in a really good place like i would say for the past i want to say year and a half i have had my ups and i've had my downs but when i look at the overall progression of all these things that i mentioned earlier about your mental your physical your emotional your spiritual like my spiritual and my physical i really worked on and my mental i really really worked on throughout the pandemic i was fortunate enough to be able to be at home and um you know like i was still working but i was fortunate enough to be working from home still i still do work from home so that allowed me to really invest time and energy and all the things that i wasn't really able to do before it allowed me to 
really get those things under control because I realized that everything starts with that literally <laughs> falls into place when those things are aligned what did I do I started to work out I'm gonna go get a mat a yoga mat I'm gonna go wait <laughs> I'm gonna go get some booty bands and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start working out at home. So I don't know if you guys know of the trainer, I am Rock Solid Fitness. He actually came out with a program with uh, Joy Chavez. I always feel like I mess up her name. But he, he came out with a program, a workout program that is like, it's like a no gym, no problem. So that was like the first program I bought. And so my workout journey started with that. And then I bought the second launch and then I bought the third one. And then it just kind of became a, a great habit in my life and I live for good habits because habits really make up your life. Habits detect what your future is gonna look like. So if you are laying around the house all day every day, that is a bad habit that is going to predict your future which is more than likely gonna be very, very similar to your, your now and the habits that you have in that present moment. You gotta be very careful in the habits that you pick up because habits create your future. So, I decided I wanted to pick up some good habits. I still had some bad habits, but it's okay, because life is all about balance, okay? So I had some, some bad habits, but we ain't focused on the bad habits. We focused on the good, the good habits that I was trying to develop. And one of those good habits was really like working on my body, like feeling good. And you know, physical, it's so, so true when they say, when you work out, that has so much more to do with your mental than your physical. Because when you're working out, all you can think about is the fact that you just want to stop. All I could think about is like, oh my god, like, when is this going to be over? Like, And then it got to a point where I, my body was craving it, you know? Like, if I didn't work out for two, three days, my body's like, what's going on? So that's when I knew, like, my habit was becoming a normal thing in my life. Does that make sense? So, I got the working out under control. You know, three months, four months, five months, turned into a year, then a year turned into two years. So now I've been consistently working out for the past two years. So you can just imagine what that has done to my mind. I am so much more, um, and, and like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not perfect, right? No one is perfect. But when you take those conscious decisions, I'm sorry, when you make those conscious decisions, in your life to make your life better and you are intentional about you know what it is that you want out of the decision that you make you stick with it and you stick through it I'm telling you guys results are going to come my mind just grew so much when it when it came to to how I thought about things how I process information when it came to how I make decisions it wasn't based on an emotional thing it was very rational it was you know yes you you have your your decisions that you kind of have to just make with your gut and I think a lot of things comes down to that like you should be making decisions with that but <clears throat> as a woman we have so much emotion so sometimes we got to step back and say like okay let me assess the situation and not look at it from an emotional standpoint and look at it from a logical standpoint and sometimes you kind of have to use that like logical like masculine energy within you to make certain decisions but I found myself just being so much clearer. My vision just got clearer. My my creativity got better. Um, my focus got better. My, my my discipline got better. You know, like I birthed a, a, an amazing idea in quarantine, which I'm still working on now. You guys are gonna be able to see that very soon. The physical was where it started for me. I started working out and then everything else just started just falling into place. We are spiritual beings in a human experience. And I had to just make sure that I delve into that and I got closer with God and that allowed me to get closer with myself. That intentionality and that energy that I put towards that relationship really allowed me to develop one with myself. Let me tell you something. Because when you're out of alignment, nothing in your life makes sense. Like everything in your life just feels so out of place all the time and then you're wondering, why isn't anything working out for me? Like, why is it that every time I plan this, it's not working out? And I always try to tell people, like, you don't have full control over everything. Like, things are going to happen when they're supposed to happen. You cannot be so distraught in the fact that your plans didn't work out. Because, to be honest, your plan A was really always plan B. Like, at the end of the day, God, 
God got the plan A. Like the universe has a plan A. So whether or not you think that um your plan A was supposed to work out and now that it's not working out, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I, I'm gonna give up and I'm gonna quit and I'm not gonna pursue this anymore. And clearly that wasn't for me. Nah, baby. Maybe it wasn't, but nine times out of 10, a lot of us just have to be able to understand like you can control what you can and you can't control what you can't like that's just really it <sighs> i feel like i'm kind of going off on a tangent let me get to this concealer because now i feel like i've said too much and, and nothing is being done okay let us talk a little bit less about me and a little bit more but just about people in general right so i think a huge thing that you know a lot of us got out of the pandemic was time and i think more than anything like this year i've realized this year i've really realized how important time is because time be flying when i say flying time really do not wait for nobody <laughs> nobody um and it's so important to have time because you want to be able to invest time into other things that you want to do in life and you want to be able to invest time into the things that you know you want to pursue but you also want to make sure you you dedicate time for yourself um and that brings me back to the what we were just talking about about the fact that you know once i got closer with my spiritual self it was a lot easier for me to see how time invested in that really had such a return on its investment because I was able to tap into things that I wasn't able to before, you know, my vision, like I said, my vision got so much clearer. And there's so much, so many things that I think we, we walk around every day and we kind of are blind to. Like, I, I have this conversation with people all the time. I'm like, when you go outside, do you ever look up? Do you look up? And I mean like up in the sky. I say that because people are not even like privy to the fact that we live in such, we live in such we live in such a enor an enormous, an abundant world of, of so many different things. We live in such an expansive world and people don't even take the time out to really like look at their surroundings and to appreciate what it is that they see around them, whether it be like a, a beautiful flower or, a, you know, an interesting insect or I know a lot of people don't like bugs, but living in Georgia, child, you see them everywhere and so like... <laughs> I'd be really in tune with nature like that's what I'm trying to say like nature is so beautiful and so that's why I believe that's why I believe so much in God because not only what, he, what God has done in my life but this world was not created by man baby this world is beautiful beyond beyond a, a, a man's imagination okay let me let me not go off I'm getting ready to go off <laughs> but I think it's so extremely important for for us especially us women to take just better care of ourselves or always take care of other people we just got to make sure that we set aside time to really take care of ourselves and when I say take care of ourselves I mean whether that be like cooking you something really nice and like you know really decorating your plate and making it attractive taking a nice photo of it posting it you know putting a lot of nice little caption whatever it is that you like love to do and those are things you're gonna do anyway right so you might as well just enjoy doing it self-care is so important right now what I'm doing in front of this camera for me is self-care okay makeup has become self-care to me I don't just do makeup anymore I do it to really like like intentional and there it's like a therapy for me right so like I just take my time and that's another thing y'all y'all have to learn how to take y'all time that's something i gotta learn myself taking your time doing things in my opinion allows you to enjoy the process so much more instead of having to start and then rushing and then completely missing the process just to get to the end result and then we get to the end result you don't feel as fulfilled because you're like damn like you know like i didn't even really learn anything like i didn't really gain anything from this like i just got into the i just got to the end result and then when you get to the end result because you rushed it's not of quality or you know you find little mistakes here and there and you're like okay if i had taken my time i would have been able to catch all of these things not only that <clears throat> I probably wouldn't would have been able to find some type of fulfillment and some type of you know appreciation for the process 
but we be rushing. We live in a world that's so fast all the time. And sometimes we really do forget to take our time. And I think that's so important. Like whatever it is that you're doing, back to self-care. When you're doing self-care, take your time. When you're in the bathroom and you're you're lotioning your body, you know, and you're putting on your perfume, and you're, you're doing your skincare routine, whatever it is, be sure to take your time because you're going to enjoy doing that so much more. It's gonna make you wanna do it even more. And with self-care comes self-love. Through self-care, gain self-love. And it's a beautiful thing. Like, it's a real beautiful, it's a very beautiful thing. And through self-love, you gain confidence. You gain so much, so much more of an appreciation for things and for people. And like for me, um, it helps me to just be more patient. I think those are very important qualities, especially for us women. Like, just being patient is like, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Cause men are so like rough and like fast and everything gotta be da -da 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 -da, like everything gotta, gotta be done like in this way in this order it's like shut up it really is like shut up like relax calm down okay so i have to kind of like hurry up with this makeup because <clears throat> so yes self-care is extremely important i think that you're able to gain so much from just taking care of you first and putting yourself first is, is is key because if you're not good and you're trying to make sure that everyone else is good, that's when things just go out of alignment. Like, everything in your life just starts to feel like, oh my gosh, like I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm over, I'm over leveraging, I'm over extending, I'm over giving. And anything with an over in, in front of it is far more than what was necessary and what was needed so if you're overdoing anything at all you have to always remember like all right let me slow down let me stop and let me take a, a pause to see if i even have the space for this and you have to do those same things that you're doing for other people you have to be able to do those things for yourself man because people will leave you high and dry all right hi and dry. we're gonna do a little light beat today because this is a look that I'm going to be recreating after this video. It's a very light beat. And I also need the sun, which is why I'm kind of like, damn, the sun is like, it's going to, the sun sets in an hour. So hopefully I'll be done in like the next 20 minutes so that I can catch the sun. So I want to just kind of give you guys a little bit more context in terms of what I mean by self-care. Because self-care can look like something different for everyone, you know. Something it can, for a guy, it might look like, just you know relaxing and watching tv and not doing anything at all that might be self-care for him you know for a girl or a woman that might be um going out and like getting herself pampered or that might just be her lounging as well like it really kind of all depends on what it is that you need to take care of within yourself and for yourself so if you're really good at you know cooking and enjoying that but you're you're not really good at cooking the healthiest meals or the best meals for yourself then self-care in in that context would look like sitting down and taking time to research different meals and learning different recipes that you can put together to you know make sure that not only you're enjoying your cooking but you're enjoying the fact that what you're about to make and what you're about to cook is nourishing for your body and it is fulfilling for your body it's medicine for your body so that might be self-care for you right and for someone else it might be you know not rushing the process of um coming home and like going in the shower maybe instead of coming home from work and taking time to drink some wine you know and watch your favorite show or you know um, going to the bathroom and spending some time you know doing a mask or it, whether it be a face mask a hair mask washing your hair and like just really like massaging your scalp and like really enjoying that you know picturing like it could be the, the smallest thing like I was even watching this girl right on YouTube her name is it's baby J I just recently started watching her but she talks a lot about femininity and she talks a lot about like you know tapping into that energy for yourself and your goddess energy and stuff and she mentioned something that she does she says she drinks water 
and when she drinks water, she imagines the water going straight down to her sacral chakra, which is your chakra of, cre of creation, right? That's your womb. And it it did something for me because I, I, I never really thought about doing that, right? But for her, that's a way for her to activate that chakra. That's a way for her to activate that that creativity, that, that space, right? And activating that is going to help her in turn, you know, be more feminine and be more closer to herself and, and understanding herself a lot more. And also, if you didn't know, your body is made up of 97% water, which is a high amount of water, right? Your body is made up of majority water. So what does that mean? Okay, well, maybe speaking life into your water can help too, right? Like, just like how you affirm different things in yourself, you can affirm different things in your water before you drink it. Because you know that your body is using this as fuel. You're using, your body is using this to reignite itself, for it to replenish itself. So if you're speaking all these things into this water, that's how you're going to feel inside. Does that make sense? I think it does. Okay, let's move on to something else because I need to finish up. <laughs> Alright you guys, let me try to do my eye and my brows real quick and then we're going to finish up and wrap up this conversation. Okay you guys, so I am back. I just did a lot off camera because I kind of wanted to just wrap this video up. Next, I'm just going to put on some lip gloss, but I kind of wanted to wrap up this video just by wrapping up the topic from earlier. So earlier we were talking about self-care, self-love, self-worth, and self-preservation, and getting right with yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Now, I kind of want to get into a little bit about femininity. I'm not femininity. Okay, I'm not going to talk um, too much about it because I still am kind of learning that side of me. Um, but I did want to just touch on the topic a little bit. I recently just started um, really getting into what that really looks like. And I think that kind of looks differently for, for different people. Um, but for the most part, it is kind of the same in a way because I think people sometimes confuse femininity with like being feminine and being girly, being a, a woman, right? And which all those things can be true, it's not entirely true that a woman can have both masculine and feminine traits and I think a man can have both masculine and feminine traits. And I think that should be it's exactly how it really should be, right? Like I think the feminine side of you is is not based on gender it's based just on the way that the different nature the different natures that we have right as women and as men i think men have more masculine than we do we have more feminine that than men do but at the end of the day i think that we both are supposed to have an equal a good amount of balance in both because that allows us to tap into certain things so for instance right like me learning about femininity and what that really truly looks like creativity you know that's a huge part of it you know being able to create something you're a woman you're able to create life and that transitions over to creating anything in this world whether it be a meal whether it be a painting whether it be this video that I'm about to edit and create and share with you guys femininity also you know represents all the beautiful things like class and making sure that you're in tip-top shape and you're taking care of yourself that's really what it is too taking care of you um i think a lot of people really confuse it with like okay you have to look a certain way and like be a certain way and be girly and be like that's not necessarily feminine um femininity is about patience it's about um it's about calmness it's about passiveness right and not passiveness in the way that we we normally think but passive in a way of like i don't know it's baby day she was talking about this she she was saying um passive in a way where you're passively creating income right like you're passive in creating the things you're creating systems around you to be able to passively manifest things in your life i think femininity is is poise it's 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 and it's it's an embrace it's nurturing right so those are like all the things that i think once you're able to tap into your self-care and your self-love and doing the things that you need to do to pour into yourself those things just kind of naturally flow 
your your feminine side will naturally flow and that goes for both men and women right so like really taking care of yourself and really you know being intentional in what you're putting in your body and what you're consuming and what you're reading and, and what you're listening to and what you're saying is really all a part of femininity and really all of all a part of activating that feminine side to you that is very important that creates duality that allows you to be able to be so fluid and in, in how you move and we gotta stop like we really have to stop doing this we really have to stop making it seem like femininity is so is 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 super subjected only to women like it, it does not have anything to do with that okay being able to tap into your sensitivity your sensuality and your and your emotions those are things that i think all people should possess that goes for men and for women it's not just about a woman you know being feminine and being classy and and wearing heels and doing her hair and her nails that's like the the physical side of things those things really don't matter you know you can have a woman that don't don't have the money to be able to do that but she's able to to give guidance she's able to, to lend advice she's able to to listen to you she's able to bring you to a place of peace you know she, it's a lot of different things i'm gonna say that i'm gonna, I'm gonna add go ahead and re-add my lip liner and then once i add that i have this lipstick that i've been loving and i think i'm gonna use that but so this is the lipstick queen mm. this is the lipstick queen lipstick and then i'm just gonna add praline by nyx on top and then i'm gonna get into this hair because that's what we came here for I'm gonna go ahead and take this off my hair because my hair has been in these damn doo-doo braids for the past I don't even know how long it's been like three days look at this I was like let me just leave them in braids and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I'm going to apply my wig so this wig I got from ilikehair.com before I even take it out of package I need you guys to see this this packaging is everything so sleek so nice i love 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 this packaging you guys like so it comes and you basically pull it out of the box i know my camera camera light is so bright but this is how it looks and then it is they package it really really nicely i must say that um, it kind of looks like the hermes box it also comes with a bonnet which is really cute and then it also comes with a wig cap, a clip, a little eyebrow spoolie, a tweezer. And then it also comes with a comb. So that that stuff comes in handy, especially for me right now. I'm about to put this on and I'm going to need a wig cap. So I'm going to actually put that on my head and then I'm going to put the wig on and show you guys what it looks like. Alright you guys, so I think I'm good. I just parted my hair and I got these two clips from outside the box that they sent me so i was like oh that's handy okay good perfect because i don't have i basically just took out some leave out and then i want to kind of see how it looks even though my hair is highlighted i want to see how it looks so i'm gonna go ahead and add this on even though my leave out is slightly different from the hair it's okay we're gonna fix that and by the way there's also clips in the back of the wig too so you're able to like clip the back as well well not clip but comb there's combs in the back make sure it's snug and tight and it's not going anywhere but as for me i'm going to just go ahead and add some water to my leave out and then see kind of how it blends i think it's gonna blend super nice so I'll be right back. I'm going to get my spray bottle and then I'm going to add some more edge control so we can get this video wrapped up. The thing is, my hair is just a different color. So it just looks a little weird. But I feel like if you have dark hair, it is going to blend perfectly if you have natural hair. I'm going to add a little bit of mousse in here. to just re-dye my 
my hair so I can wear this. <laughs> Y'all, this is such nice hair. Like, it feels so natural. Put some my weave out. Need some loose. I'm gonna try to like put my hair down in the back, like behind. I don't know if it's gonna look weird, but I just kind of want to see it without my streak. So I just kind of fixed the hair. I stuffed my hair behind this, so my hair is like here. Just because I don't want y'all to see my hair and then it doesn't look good in like my pictures and stuff. Because obviously my hair is this texture, it's just that my hair is not this color right now. Which I need to figure out because I don't know if I'm going to keep this color too much longer. But I'm going to do my baby hairs again real quick and then let's kind of like talk about the hair a little bit. So this is an eye part wig from I Like Hair Calm. Okay, so it's not I Like Hair, it's I Like Hair Calm. That's what it is, don't ask me, okay? So, so there's a few things that I just want to let you guys know about this hair. This hair has no lace and no glue. You do not need a glue or any lace glue to put this on you simply just need your natural hair you can either do no leave out with this or you can do a thin leave out which i prefer um just because i just like to you know hide that little um detection of whether it's a wig or not is it is it a wig is it not you know i don't need i don't need people assuming and i don't need people questioning anything okay this is my hair so this also features a true roots closure which basically matches the same color roots of your natural hair and it also allows you to leave out 99 to 100 percent less hair than a u-part wig would it has a hundred percent breathable cap and this hair is like pinky curly this is super soft hair like when i say when you wear this hair and you have already have this texture, people are literally going to be like, girl, is that your hair? And you could be like, girl, it is. I bought it. I got the receipt. So make sure you check out I Like Hair Calm at ilikehair.com. I'll leave the name of the website down here below so you can check them out. Also, they provided me with a discount code that will allow my supporters, you guys, to get this hair for 25% off. Make sure you go ahead and get your kinky curly um, clip in wig, this eye part wig, okay? Because, yeah, no, this is, this is, this, whew. this is nice, y'all. This is nice. Besides that part, and besides my hair, being a different color this is some really nice thick hair okay thank you guys so much for watching this video i will leave all of the links and stuff down in the description bar below for this hair if you want to go ahead and check them out um i would highly recommend that you do so because this is some bomb hair and then just to reiterate that we talked about earlier make sure you go and do some self-care this week make sure you go and you cook yourself a nice meal and enjoy it make sure you go and spend some time in some nature connect connect with nature connect with yourself make sure you don't forget about that i'll see you guys again in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also share if you learned something new and leave me a comment down below because i miss you guys so much and i want to hear what you guys think about this video bye guys